Hey Ratbags, it's Jay. Today giving a look at a brand new PvP open world survival game called Sand. Now I'm actually showing you the screenshots first, as the cinematic trailer doesn't really convey to me a really good hook for you. But I think the screenshots do, and hopefully hearing them words PvP set in a world where you have got walkers that will go across the sand is definitely going to intrigue you. And no, it isn't a Last Oasis ripoff. Although that might not be such a bad thing considering how far that game has fallen and looking likely never to be completed. So this is Sand. It's published by Tiny Build. It's made by a Ukrainian group of developers. And honestly, I am super intrigued by this. There just hasn't been enough PvP survival games lately. Not new ones. They've been dominated by the older, more popular things like Rust and even DayZ's Resurgence. We've had a few games try like Distira, as well as of course Last Oasis, which has indeed failed massively. I even said it recently that I think PvP is kind of dying. A lot of games are moving to the Tarkov ripoffs now, rather than trying to emulate what DayZ and Ark did. So I'm totally down. It is going to be full lootable game where you are roaming around on these mechanical walkers. Yes, that's where the comparison to Last Oasis really comes from. But this is definitely its own world and vibe where we're exploring what could have happened in the 1920s if actually we were colonizing planets at that time already and the world had been taken over by an sort of Austro-Hungarian uh, empire. So this effectively is a new planet that you're going to be on trying to survive on these machines, killing other players, taking their loot and hopefully storing it in your constructs and keeping them safe. I'll regurgitate what the Steam page says, but I have got an interview with PC Gamer to go over as well. Sand is looking promising. So the full description, Sand is a vast open world PvP PvE game where you explore the fallen planet of Sophie. Build gigantic tramplers to conquer this hostile environment filled with mystical anomalies, monuments and other players. Find out what happened in this fallen world once ruled by the austro hungarian Empire. Your walker will be trampling lands that were once a vast massive sea, now left nothing but just the titled sand. As it will be your main base, it's going to be how you explore and obviously how you, where you keep your loot. You'll be able to customise your tramplers from interior design to upgrading its power, armour and weapons. Team up with other players to pull your resources together to create the ultimate movement base in a large open world. The, Alternative history is set actually in 1910. Humanity has made significant advancements in space exploration thanks to the discovery of new energy sources. The osco hungarian Empire led the way in conquering other planets, but a mysterious ecological disaster struck Sophie, forcing its settlers to hastily leave behind a once resource-rich world. Motivated by desperation, the bravest and most impoverished individuals from the Empire now journey to planet Sophie to test their fate, uncover hidden riches in the barren wastelands and profoundly change their lives. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Icarus here, so there's definitely some mashings of stuff going on. The game's characters are going to originate from Galicia, a region within the Osto on Hungarian Empire, predominantly intimidated by Ukraines and Poles. During the early stage of colonization, Kaiser promised the Galatians a significant portion of the planet Sophie, enticing them to volunteer as the primary labor force for constructing the cities that would eventually become home to them. Despite the ecological disaster, the luring of owning their own space territories proves difficult to abandon. The most resilient and desperate Galatians who have little to lose result to semi legal means of reaching a planet driven by the determination to rectify historical injustices and claim what is rightfully theirs. Now if that's not amalgamation of what's going on in the war and the tax from Russia on Ukraine I don't know what is. As said PC Gamers has got a big interview with some of the lead developers of the game and it seems like they're still not set in stone with a bunch of stuff willing to take on feedback but effectively it is going to be that multiplayer looter survival game obviously with lots of combat focused on shooting your big guns no matter what one you use. It's going to have a new resource that's allowed them to colonize space Hologriff co-founder and game director of Sand, Surfy Gnit says, they start to colonize nearby solar systems and events of the game take place at the beginning of the 20th century near the beginning of the First World War. Our main two influences were Sea of Thieves for that feeling of traveling the oceans or ships with your friends and Rust for the thrill of danger and cool feeling of start with nothing and increasing your power but either carefully upgrading your own or taking your spear and killing a guy to steal his rifle then raiding a base of five guys. When it says it might be stupid, but it's possible and you feel like an action hero like Rambo. I feel this guy needs to get with the times. We need some John Wick references, man. 
Now I did mention that sort of Tarkov style type of game. It does look like this is going to lean into that a little bit as they're still playing around with the core gameplay loops. But yeah, it's looking at the extraction style gameplay of Escape of Tarkov or Dark and Darker with the more persistent world though of Rust. And that sounds perfect to me. We've got a few ideas, but one we like right now is that players can build their trampler in orbit, equip it with provisions, weapons, ammo and fuel, then drop to the surface. Unlike typical extraction games with 30 or so minute sessions, you'll connect to a server with a much longer life cycle. Resources will respawn and you'll explore on to find loot before trying to return to a drop zone to extract it. Other than environmental hazards, your main danger will be other players, though who you can encounter on loot filled islands while traversing the sandy wastes, desperately trying to escape with your Cool. Dev goes on to explain that it was funny, they were trying to decide on the best setting, it would have been easy to pick something like the American Wild West, right? But we quickly realised that we live in a setting that's never been explored. We don't have to go to, say, London to see London architecture, we can just look out the window for inspiration from Ukraine. We love this setting and it's amazing to realise it in a game world. The region is rich history that no game has covered and we're looking, maybe except for The Witcher, but maybe fantasy creatures, we wanted to look at industrial history before Soviet occupation, looking at the important part of our past. Visually they're looking for the tramplers to be obviously sci-fi looking, they're designing everything looking at old Australian Hungarian mechanisms and artifacts just as though they somehow decided to colonize space. Of course they do go on to talk about some of the war, uh, developing a game during the war is hard, we had to evacuate all staff from the eastern parts of Ukraine and we have to go to a shelter where there's a strike underway. Plus there's a constant threat of nuclear weapons, we've somehow adapted to it all, the war has somehow just been added to our routine. So very early days, don't expect to release date this year, maybe nothing until even the end of next year, but San does have potential. I like the idea of this one, I'm definitely going to be supporting it once we get more news. As always, the home of survival gameplay guides and of course news. I'll see you right back some more soon.